Talc is a tricky one because it looks just like muscovite. The grain in the middle with the really good cleavage clear is talc, looks just like muscovite. When I cross the polars, you'll see it looks just like muscovite. High order interference colors and bird's eye extinction. So how do you tell the difference? It's really mostly about association. This rock is loaded with actinolite and actinolite talc associations are pretty common. Same rock, more talc in the middle, actinolite around the outside. Maybe it looks more like an amphibole here because it's elongate. And you can see some amphibole cleavages. Cross the polars and you'll see the high order interference colors and bird's eye extinction again. This field of view is all talc. There are lots of different crystals in different orientations. In plain polarized light, it doesn't look like much of anything, but when I cross the polars, you'll see there are different domains with different interference colors. Some of them are pretty low, so the talc plates are almost parallel to the plane of the thin section, and others have higher order interference colors where the plane of the cleavage is perpendicular to the plane of the thin section. This is a pretty common association of talc with olivine in an altered ultramafic rock. Alteration at lower temperatures, hydrous alteration, typically produces talc at the expense of olivine. Here you can see the high order interference colors in the bird's eye extinction. This is another example from the same rock. The long skinny lines running up through the crystals are the cleavage planes. So this must be cut almost perpendicular to the cleavage planes. If so, the interference colors should be high. And in fact, they're very high. And last, this is talc that has grown in a reaction rind around magnesium-rich garnet. The high relief crystals in there, and when I cross the polars, will be black, so those are the garnets. Talc makes up much of the remaining field of view, except that there's also phlogopite in there. Phlogopite is a magnesium end member biotite, and it has almost no pleochroism to it. So here, phlogopite and talc really can't tell the difference.